unlike the players that are currently pictured behind me on my wall, who all but one had a Hall of Fame career, that one that did not, of course, was Hal Chase, because he was a complete degenerate gambler in his time, although he probably would have ended up as a Hall of Famer at the end of the day. Today, let's talk about the five players who have a T206 Polar Bear card that had the worst statistical career when you look at it from a modern day perspective. This is the list of five players with the lowest war. Now, number one, why is this important? It's important if you're trying to build a complete polar bear set. This is information that I wish I had when I was building my set. Now, just because a player maybe was bad in his day and age, doesn't necessarily mean his card is not gonna be as valuable today in modern times. Because number one, what is on the back of the card is extremely important and super relevant. Look specifically at T206 Polar Bear, Ray Dimmitt, and Bill O'Hara. You're only gonna find those two cards in a Polar Bear back in a St. Louis uniform, and they're very, very expensive. They out-index a Ty Cobb, and those careers, they're not even in the same ballpark. And so some people will say it's criminal that O'Hara and Demet's prices will out-index a Ty Cobb, but that's the world we live in when it comes to pre-war because the back of the card is important. But then number two, when it comes to putting that set together, you really have to understand how many common players are out there. We instinctively just see a player in a T206 card and go, that guy must be really good because he had a card 115 years ago. But they basically put in every single player who played baseball and you've got some real duds. But I do wanna give the people who created this set some credit many, many years later. When you start to break down that Polar Bear set, 25 players have two cards. One player has three, that is Hal Chase. So there are 197 other players with just one card. When you take a look at the players with the lowest war, none of those players have two cards. So they kind of knew back then what players were really good, what players were maybe mediocre, and then what players we just needed to fill a card in the checklist to get this set out. So it was interesting to see when you look at all of the wars for all the players, not a single player had two cards who had a negative career war back then. But let's get to that bottom five list right now so you know what to look for and potentially can save yourself some money at the end of the day when you start building your Polar Bear set. In total though, 29 different players with a Polar Bear back T206 card had a negative war. And I do also understand, of course, position war versus pitcher war. They're very different overall. This is just a fun list to look at from top to bottom. Coming in number five on this list, though, is a player from the Chicago White Sox who pitched for them for four years. Lou Fien was a White Sox player from 1906 through 1909, finishing his career with a record of 3-8 and eight, where he started 10 games, but his career ended with a negative war of 2.2. Now, I should give Rube Geyer here an honorable mention. He was number six on the list with a negative war of 1.9, just escaping that bottom five list. But looking now specifically at number four with a negative war of 2.7, another Rube, but this is Rube DeSau. He played just two years in the majors 1907 and 1910. He finished his career with a record of two and four with Brooklyn and Boston. Now the next put on the list for me is absolutely a fantastic one. Number one, it's because he is on my arm. Yes, not everyone on my arm is a great player. We have what you think is Harry Hinchman right here. This is actually Bud Sharp. If you don't know, the T206 creators swap the photos for Harry Henchman and Bud Sharp. So when you look at the Harry Henchman card, that is actually Bud Sharp. But Bud Sharp spent just two years, 1905 and 1910 in the majors, just over 620 at bats, but he finished his career with a negative three war. And now coming in number two on this list is also the lowest war from a pitcher perspective. So maybe 
would call this player the worst pitcher in all of Polar Bear, but he also has a really cool, neat story about his T206 Polar Bear card. We are talking specifically here about Gus Dorner. Now, Gus had a pretty long career. He pitched 131 games. He had a record of 35 and 69, but his, his war was negative 3.6. But the coolest thing about Dorner when it comes to Polar Bear is the two variations of his card. And yes, I said variations. When you take a look at the early printing of his card, the first R in Dorner is missing the line. And so for many years, people thought this was a, a misspelling, kind of like McGee, and it should be very valuable. I dropped a pretty significant amount of money picking up a Doppner variation. And when you look at it under magnification, it's very clear. It's not a misspelling. That is an R. It's just missing that bottom line. So do I wish I had not spent the money on the Doppner? No, but also, yes, it's really cool to have. But if you're looking for the worst pitcher with a polar bear card, Gus Dorner is your guy. Now, this next player is really bad, but he's also really good in the other part of his job. But this player, Bill Bergen, owns the second lowest war performance in all of baseball, not just T206, in all of baseball, negative 6.9. But he's also regarded as being one of the best defensive catchers of all time. When you take a look at his war from a defensive perspective as a catcher, it's really, really good. But from an offensive perspective, Bill was terrible. He couldn't hit the ball. Only one year he batted over 200. Most other years, or all of the years, were in the mid-100s. Zero offensive production. And so this is why Bill Bergen tops the list from Polar Bear as having the worst statistical war or the lowest war at negative 6.9. And now while these players were all bad in their career, the great thing is none of their cards from a T206 perspective from Polar Bear are that expensive. But remember these five names when you're trying to put together this set. Maybe you make an offer a couple dollars less because now you know these are, or this is, one of the worst players in the entire set. And if you want to learn more about T206 and the players with a polar bear back T206 card, hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button.